This is an entrance, uh, replace the old entrance and that was in the same place that leads out to Algoma, out to campus. All new, new doors, a new construction, and it leads through the building out to an ex a new entrance that leads into lot 25. So this link that was through here, this cut through you might say, that uh, people park and zip over to Dempsey is still here. They're just going through a new building. This is Mitaza. It's larger than Mitaza used to be. Uh, the old Mitaza wasn't much bigger than a classroom. This is about 50% uh, larger. New cabinetry work, new coolers, expanded space for offering expanded uh, food selections. Uh, in the simulation lab, we have four simulation rooms. This is, simulates a hospital room. And these are all brand new hospital beds. The center two sim rooms has a dividing wall, so it's one larger trauma room. This room is flexible. It can be at one large trauma room, or it can be two small exam rooms, simulation rooms, hospital rooms. Uh, depends what kind of mannequin you set up, how you set up. Um, and here is the partition. You just pull this close. This is a partition wall panel. And you just pull that against the wall and you crank it down and then you have two rooms. And we have built the rooms very similar to actual hospital rooms in the area. Aurora and Theta, Mercy. Uh, we've taken a lot of the features in the rooms there and recreated them here. The students from here go right out into, yeah, right into a hospital someplace and work. And they need to learn with the same features and equipment that they're using at the hospital, such as the bed and the mannequin. Across the hall, there are two debrief rooms. This is just tables and chairs and technology. The students come in here after a simulation and they'll play back the simulation or do some studying and find out what they need to work on and they work on. This one is to replicate a, a home environment. It's uh, where we're staying, this end of the room, we're going to put some um, living room furniture. We'll put a recliner, a couch. Uh, we'll set this up as the kitchen. We'll put a replicate stove in there. We'll have a refrigerator here. Um, this will be set up just like an apartment or a home. And the student has to learn how to get around a home and all the furniture that gets in the way, dealing with someone at home care. Uh, we have a bathroom that is completely inaccessible just like your bathroom at home would be. Uh, so they have to deal with someone in a bathroom, how to get around in such tight quarters. They could learn all of that before they actually go out and do it. We could call it Main Street, you might say. It connects everything along this corridor. There's a window along the way into the simulation lab with a wooden seat. You can just sit down, plug in your phone, charge it up, and see what they're doing in the simulation room. This is the new student practice lab. They'll have some stretchers in here in cubicle curtain spaces. And the students can come in here on their own schedule and practice their skills. There will also be an instructional space down the center. Every lab is uh, completely out outfitted with the current technology. We have a projector. We have sound system equipment in the cabinet. Uh, we have controls for, uh, just like in the other classrooms uh, that you might see at SAGE, it controls the lighting, it controls the sound, the screen, uh, the projection, uh, recording, and we have connections for computers, and so this will take care of all the technology in the room. And down here, I don't remember what the, what they were called the lecture pits before because they were as deep as a pit and they went down like a pit. Now you can't call it that anymore, they're lecture halls. We filled them in, and just left a gentle slope on them. What this does is it makes the whole room accessible. All new seating and there is a power outlet at every seat. Uh, there's, there's a Blu-ray player, document camera, sound control, uh, control of the, of the projectors.
this last lecture hall, we were able to just fill it in. And then the, the, the back end of the lecture room, we left out here in the hallway. So we expanded the gathering space. We'll put some soft seating out here. More places to just sit, study, relax. And then at, from this point on, we uh, divided the remaining space in two for two classrooms. Our new addition in the front that you see when you drive down Algoma Boulevard. Is really that just that it's, it's a new entrance. The entrance used to be back here with those, those old squeaky aluminum doors. We pushed those out here, brand new doors and gave us this front gathering space. It's a lounge space, which has more seating and some tables here. Um, Tables, uh, end tables, coffee tables, uh, some seating tables, study tables. So this main hallway is gonna become the, the, just that, the main hallway from the lecture end of the building all the way down through out to lot 26 at the other end of the building. This is gonna be a traditional classroom. You see the projector and the big whiteboard. This is one of the active learning classrooms. Um, one of the smaller ones. And this one has four stations with monitors and credenzas. And in front of this, we'll have three tables and six chairs. So we'll have six students at each monitor. And here is one of the ecology research labs. There's five or six of them around the basement. This one's a cognitive research lab. It's the same kind of arrangement, a suite with smaller rooms inside, arranged just a little differently. Oh, well, we have an environmental studies room, which just goes from one end, there we go, runs over to the other corridor. If you want to see the faculty tower, it's right around the corner here. The stairway is the same. We didn't change the stairway except for the handrails. And they're all concrete and terrazzo. They're, they'll be here 100 years, of course. So we saved those. And the link into the faculty building, we didn't change this structurally at all. It's still the same glass, railings, columns. We updated the lights. We put in a new floor and a new ceiling. And when we get to that point, we stop making dust and dirt, we'll give it a fresh coat of paint. And the final product, uh, we opened up here with glass. This is gonna be a computer lab, which lets the daylight in into the corridor. So this, this really lights up during the day. You can't tell today it's so cloudy. Um, but we have uh, new drinking fountains and new toilets, new conference rooms, uh, new spaces that accommodate um, the workers on the floor. Mm -hmm.